Welcome to Essence of Knowledge Satsang. Today we are going to start with a test of Anoop. So let me know if you are ready. Yes, sir. Okay. I am going to give you 10 questions. Try to answer as many as possible. All the best. Uh, thanks for giving this opportunity to me, Guruji. Uh, question number one. What are main sources of knowledge? The main sources of knowledge are direct experience and logic only. This is the only valid way to acquire knowledge. All other means, uh, it, it's considered as information. Uh, second question, how is truth verified? In path of knowledge, the criterion of truth is that which changes is false. That which is unchanging is truth. If the that is how truth is verified in path of knowledge. Or uh, uh, in case of uh, like normal or the survival uh, truth, it's according to the necessity or the criterion is loose. There, uh, it's not that strict. Uh, we we set the criterion according to the necessity. What is the difference between nature and the truth? Uh, uh, there is no difference actually. The nature and the truth are one or the same. If it changes, it won't be nature. The truth also same thing. Question number four. Existence cannot be absent. Why? Existence is everything that is the the question itself is the question itself is uh, invalid existence cannot be absent it is that all that is there is nothing to be added to it or nothing can be removed it is perfect question number five uh, what causes the experiencer to take forms nothing causes experiencer doesn't have a desire or any any need to take forms no one takes forms question number six experience uh, experience is existence itself and is always present then how can it be false experience is existence itself and it's always present experience is that which is always changing which is not truth the existence uh, the essence of existence is experiencer which is unchanging and existence experience uh, 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 the existence and the experience are same thing in non-duality existence is not false experience uh, all experiences are illusion they are false Question number seven, what requirements must be met by any model of illusion? Sorry, I'm not able to answer this. Uh, question number eight, what is absent from illusion? Truth or the experiencer is absent from the illusion. Illusion is, is that which appears. Illusion is that which appears as it is not. Question number nine. How do patterns persist? Patterns persist through the self-organization and replicating and replicating when patterns persist by the cyclical nature of themselves. They are it's by the self-organization the patterns persist and maintain themselves what is the final goal of evolution dissolution uh, the final goal of evolution is the dissolution uh, and it there's nothing that is evolving actually eventually all evolution will lead to dissolution uh, i'm done guruji okay very good very good effort and you get seven marks out of ten that means 70 percent so that is a pass now you are in the step number four of the program and uh, your answers are satisfactory what are the main sources of knowledge your answer was 100 percent right but 
simply to complete the answer we should mention the traditional sources also which are script scriptures books and the guru metaphors and non availability this is total 6 are given traditionally but we have dropped four of them and we use only the best possible the strictest possible we don't rely too much on others because they are somehow covered by the two anyhow the answer was correct how is truth verified again correct answer these these are the very fundamental questions of the path of knowledge number 3 what is the difference between nature and truth again correct now the question is why do we use the two words for the same thing we show that when you go and try to find the nature of something you will arrive at truth so this is the purpose first we define the truth what it is how to find it and then when we actually find it we see that it is same as finding the nature of something for example if you want to know my truth you must know my nature and uh, the nature always comes out to be unchanging and the most important without it there won't be any experience of that thing of which you are trying to find the nature so we start like this but we end up with the same thing truth truth and nature they come out to be the same sometimes we say we combine the two words we say true nature what is my true nature and in short sometimes we say what is my nature those who know the terminology they they can say it in short and sometimes we don't use nature we say what is my truth that also gives the same answer so number 4 existence cannot be absent why and you tried and you got half marks there half marks because you said uh, it cannot be absent there is no question of why it is whole and it is defined as everything so there cannot be a question of why but uh, there can be a better answer more logical answer to this which is even the absence must be proven on the path of knowledge you cannot say simply that something is absent you must prove it on the basis of direct experience and logic again you cannot simply say that these things are absent somebody must go and verify it now to verify that the existence is absent is it even possible <laughs> because there will be somebody who is verifying there will be somebody who is saying that look it is absent that means the existence is actually present in the form of that person entity or whatever so the um, it is impossible to prove this thing you can imagine that it is not there but is meaningless statement we say that existence is self evident because its absence cannot be proven whenever you go and try to prove its absence it fails because the one who is proving is existing there is existence of that that's why in the program we say that non existence is impossible why why do we need to say these things why do we need to even try to show that it cannot be absent because there are some beliefs in the minds of people newcomer seekers that one day everything will be gone <laughs> one day everything will disappear just like it was created it will be destroyed and to remove this belief we we try to investigate and we find that no the existence will never go away it is eternally present same thing you can try for the experiencer and the experience and you will again see that they cannot be absent how will you verify the absence of the experiencer only the experiencer can experience the absence also so impossible it is self evident same way you cannot say that the experience is absent because there will be an experiencer to witness the absence and then that absence the witnessing of the absence is the experience so like i give a example that water bottle is absent from the fridge somebody took it let's say how can you say that you must open the fridge see there oh it used to be there but it's not there now this is an experience in itself experience of absent absence plus combination of logic that it used to be there it's not there so to prove the absence there must be presence and therefore the fundamentals cannot be absent fundamentals means existence experience experiencer and experiencing they are all one so this is more you can say rigorous answer complete answer so slowly you will become able to answer like this number 5 was correct uh, the experiencer has no form you know one line answer experiencer is is formless why are you asking about the cause <laughs> when there is no form so correct answer number 6 experience is existence itself and is always present then how can it be false so this answer was wrong uh, 
that that was not the correct answer whatever you said now why is there this question because we say that the truth never changes it is always there and same thing about same fact you can see about the experience it is always there just now i said it cannot be absent then why do we say that it is false because false means it will go away it will change uh, yes and we say experience is always changing yes but what the question is saying that even though it is changing it is always present the changing events can be false how is the experience false names and forms can be false but there will always be names and forms so there is some level of truth there the the, the uh, question is claiming like this yes existence has both true and false so you can say that uh, experience is always present at the level of non duality that means there, there will be both at the same time and there will be one that oneness is always there but at the level of duality the experience will be ch- seen as changing that oneness will be seen as changing and now whatever changes is false so the true and false is applicable at the level of duality only and there the experience is changing at the level of non duality oneness the experience is always present why because it is existence then we drop down and and like you said there is no true nothing true nothing false is meaningless at the level of non duality and there is no change also there is pure potential that pure potential is present always you can say that is true but we, we don't worry about true and false at the level of non duality because if something is true something must be false and then that because true duality two there are no two in non duality so at the level of duality yes now the classification can happen and the changing is seen as false so it is a mix this question is mixing the level two levels of duality and non duality that which is true at the level of um duality loses its meaning in the non duality so everybody should think about these things these are deeper questions and yes initially people will answer it wrongly if you contemplate more deeply then you will be able to f- see the trick okay number 7 what requirements must be made by any model of the illusion this also i mean he did not attempt could not answer so it is very easy probably you forgot forgot we have studied the illusion observations of the illusion there is a chapter like this what can we observe about the illusion now you you may recall yes there is change first thing it is a cyclic change there is duality so its essence comes out to be emptiness and so on you see we made a list of observations and any model of the illusion must um, explain all these observations otherwise it's not a good model and the model of the vibration is the only one that explains the these observations all of them this is amazing it's possible that is why this model is the best model best scientific model and all other models that you see that are being used in the science eastern or western they are derivatives of this model this is like big claim but this is how it is the illusion is described by this model very nicely we can explain the physical we can explain the the mental we can explain non physical nothing which cannot be explained yes for explaining some particular phenomena uh, there will be limitation of the intelligence there how intelligent that person is how much the knowledge of the illusion is there in that person that will limit this but if you can explain the fundamental things about the illusion you can assume that yes everything can be explained so there is a list of requirements that must be met by the illusion yes it may not be able to explain a few things but so far i have not seen that it is possible to explain everything okay now number 8 what is absent from illusion very good answer uh, illusion has we say that infinite potential is appearing so everything is possible there then the question is what is not possible what is absent and he was exactly correct exact answer that i am absent i am not the illusion or you can say the truth or the reality is absent from the illusion same thing number 9 how do patterns persist and again correct answer he said replication and self organization yes but there is one ans- one line answer for this and the answer is survival they persist using the process of survival and what is the process of survival growth reproduction and defense three actions that are built into the patterns the vibrational patterns if they do not replicate gone because impermanence they change into something else if they do not self organize 
well it is random <laughs> something there is nothing no structure to persist and if it does not protect itself from encroaching patterns because the patterns have a tendency to overwrite other patterns overwrite the memory they need to develop some kind of structure some kind of defense mechanism to protect themselves so they do it by replicating copying and making sophisticated process for protection and so on and these the survival tendency is seen in each and every structure in the illusion it is seen in very nicely in the complex structures like plants animals and humans don't we see this thing the same thing is apparent in a more complex form the fundamental is seen in the final product so like i said we can explain everything this is one example of it why do you have why do humans have these uh, tendencies of growth eating reproducing and defending and the answer is very clear patterns which do not persist they disappear this is called death so with the ability to defend comes many things like anger like violence like fear why are these processes running they are helpful in defense and you can explain now everything you see why is there love and attraction very useful for reproduction so on if you sit down like this meditating contemplating you will see that i can explain everything now sometimes we can explain things which even the scientists don't know this is the this is very powerful model and now number 10 what is the final goal of evolution you got half marks not full marks half and big because you said dissolution but uh, the evolution is cyclic just like any process in the illusion it continues out of the dissolved again the potential expresses again it starts taking form it never stays dissolved and there, there are some explanations in the program probably i said that in the program that given the timeless nature of the existence by now everything must have dissolved <laughs> everything must have evolved to its final goal by now then why do we see new forms new structures how is it possible why is not everything dissolved already because infinite time has passed yes it is not possible to attain some kind of goal here there is no goal in existence goalless aimless this play so those who are thinking i'll go and evolve to final stage finally i'll rest there is nobody like this there is nobody who evolves nobody who rests nobody who dissolves i am brahman i am the existence it is eternally expressing as forms eternally evolving new forms up reappear from the same existence remember there is only one the dissolved does not say stay dissolved because there is nothing is stationary here but impermanent but the good news is i am the one who is already dissolved dissolved means become a part of the existence pure who is that that is me i am already the whole actually not only dissolved i am the whole i am the emptiness so that which is appearing will will never dissolve will never stay dissolved it will appear like it has dissolved and that which is not appearing that which is the truth is always empty is always in the true form so think about it <laughs> it it will destroy lots of beliefs of people so this is your questions and answers very good attempt and all the best for the rest of the program which is very very easy now nothing to do much okay nidhi asked when you talk about layered structure with layers that are separate and some that are non individualized what are we talking about what is the whole layered structure supposed to be so i think she has already completed the layer uh, chapters on layers and the memory structure so revise it again but i'll tell you that uh, all the layers are actually non individualized the individual is an illusion the individualization is a process it it happens because of the necessity for survival like just now we discussed it is a strategy of the layered structure to keep the structure in uh, intact so is it draws a boundary that this much is me beyond this is not me for the humans the boundary is the body physical body sometimes it extends into objects like my relatives my mother my father my house my car like this but somehow we accept that if that goes away nothing no harm is done to me 
yes i'll feel bad if <laughs> somebody else takes over my house but i am still there i survive so there is a gray area but after that beyond my house is not me nothing is me nothing is mine so this is for the purpose of survival uh, whatever is inside the boundary is strictly me like body emotions mind feelings memories they will be branded as me by this survival process we call the ego but in truth or in the relative truth there is no boundary it's all already mixed with whatever is around it whatever you call as individualized layers already mixed so the boundary is virtual what is around it that is the question now where is no boundary well the whole universe is around it the whole creation what or the existence which is manifesting the manifested face of the existence is present whole of it so we can picture it as a sea of vibrations and in this sea of vibration there are some waves and one of the waves when it grows to some extent it says i am the individual <laughs> and it wants to remain as wave there is a tendency to persist like today was there was a question how do they persist these vibrating patterns so for some time momentary the wave says i am an individual while being completely water this sea of vibrations so this uni- it is called the universal memory in which all these individual layers are arising evolving taking various shapes and various forms and producing various experiences we call them lives or more technically we say states of the memory so hopefully it is clear we'll end the meeting here and i'll see you next time and all the best again thank you everyone for attending today's meeting